Um, number 15, point P is the end center. Find JP. Okay, we are looking for JP up here, and we'll get to that. But um, first of all, let us emphasize. Once again, if this is the end center, then all the distances to the sides must be the same, the perpendicular distances. Luckily, these are the perpendicular distances. See the right angles? So that means this distance and this distance and this distance should all be the same. So if I find one of them, I found all of them. So we are being asked for JP. We're being asked for this one over here. Um, but I'm not going to find that one. I'm going to find this one down here, PN. And then whatever that is, it should be the same thing. And the way I'm going to find that is by um, doing a right triangle. That's going to go like this. All right, focus on this right triangle down here. All right, I'm just going to do the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, let me move that off to the side for a second. So I'm just going to do the Pythagorean theorem. We're supposed to find PN. PN um, is going to be this side right here. So that's like my X. 25 is the hypotenuse. That's like right here. 24 is this leg. So I'm going to do my Pythagorean theorem. That's going to go um, leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. So that's going to give me x squared plus five, uh, 576 is equal to 625. So if we sub just subtract 576 from both sides, that's going to give me x squared equals 49. If I then take the square root of both sides, that's going to, of course, give me x equals 7. So that means um, this is 7 for uh, where pn is. But again, because it's the end center, all three of these lengths should be the same. So if this one is 7, that means this one is 7 also. Okay, so that's why the answer is 7.